Well, the recall effort to try and unseat the state's powerful assembly speaker looks like it's hit a roadblock. Political reporter Will Keneally has more on the future of that effort. Will? Well, Charlotte, it's with these legislative maps that the recall effort has actually hit a snag. Uh, so this is southeastern Wisconsin, uh, Lake Michigan's over here, Racine's right here. So right around here is where Assembly Speaker Robin Voss lives. Now, he represented this district in this black outline here under the old maps. Under the new maps that Governor Evers signed in some law last month, he'll represent this green district here. So now, where the snag is, is right here. This outline, this clump of voters, they voted for Robin Voss last time around. This next fall, they'll vote in this purple blue district here. So the open question is whether they will be able to participate in this recall effort. That is something that the Wisconsin Elections Commission tried to answer today. I'm lucky enough to be a lawyer and it's very, very murky to me. It's a question of who gets to participate in this recall that has put a pause on the possible ouster of Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Last month, Governor Evers signed new legislative districts into law. Those will be in effect for this fall's election. But it's an open question of who gets to recall sitting state rep, the voters who put him in office, or his new constituents for the fall. We have legislation and new maps that are not effective until November. But we have a Supreme Court decision that says this current maps were unconstitutional and we're enjoined from using them in any type of election. Now, the State Elections Commission today asked the state Supreme Court to figure out which lines to use. Department of Justice to seek clarification from the Wisconsin Supreme Court as to which maps apply to this recall petition and election and any future recall petition and election so now here's where this also gets a little bit tricky. So the recall petitioners gathered signatures from all across Wisconsin here, or all of these districts. So if you count up the signatures just from Voss's old district, you actually don't have enough to trigger that recall election. If you do just his new district, you don't have enough either. So how they get to the number of signatures needed is if you count this entire blue district here, even some outside Voss's old district, Voss's old district, and that green district there, then you have enough. So it's a lot of open questions. We'll see where the high court lands.